live now, a major shakeup in the medical center. The president of MD Anderson Cancer Center has resigned. It's a story we've been following since January, actually. The resignation comes amid budget cuts and layoffs that affected nearly 900 jobs. We broke the story today at 4 o'clock tonight. Medical reporter Haley Hernandez joins us live with what she's learning at this hour. Haley. Keith and Lauren, actually, I'm holding a copy of that resignation letter in my hand. In it, DePino asks for forgiveness. In a video released this afternoon, president of the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center, Ronald DePino, says he spent six years pushing the institution to new academic heights. I could have done a better job administratively, a better job listening, a better job communicating. Forgive me for my shortcomings. A former vice president with MD Anderson, Leonard Zwelling, agrees that DePino is a researcher, but says that does not mean he had the skill set to run this institution. He stresses this is not a good day, not a good year for the cancer center. I think it was a big, it, it is a mismatch, and I think it was also a misunderstanding of what his instructions were and not a clear understanding of what MD Anderson is. And that's often a problem for people from the outside. When they come to MD Anderson, it is not the easiest place to understand. It's not like a typical academic institution in that there's such a huge emphasis on one disease, obviously cancer, and on clinical care as the most important thing. Everything else is sort of secondary. But DePino says in his resignation that research was his priority, which is an expensive endeavor that he says came during significant financial change and challenges. But there was a cost for that change, and I have added to that cost. As we mentioned just a moment ago, nearly 900 or more employees were laid off from MD Anderson in January. I'm going to have more on this story coming up at 6 o'clock, including what DePino says he's doing now that he's resigned. Reporting live in the Medical Center, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News. Haley,